Hello and welcome back to Dental Basics. Dentinogenesis imperfecta translates to dentine formation that is imperfect. Dentine formation occurs in two stages. First, there is formation of matrix and this is followed by mineralization. This is an odontoblast. It helps to form and maintain dentine. For this, they secrete type 1 collagen, the main component of the matrix and also dentine sialophosphoprotein for mineralization of dentine. In DI, there is mutations in the gene that encode either type 1 collagen or dentine sialophosphoprotein, DSPP in short. This comes under type 1 DI. Here the primary teeth are more severely affected. Type 1 is seen along with a systemic disease called osteogenesis imperfecta, which is also due to defect in type 1 collagen. I've already posted a separate video about OI. Under the second one come the type 2 DI and type 3 DI. It occurs in people without any other inherited disorder or any other systemic disease, uh, that is, they are found alone. This classification of type 1, type 2 and type 3 was given by Shield and his co-workers to simplify DI because there is a lot of variation in different people with DI. In the newer classification, only these two are considered as DI and this becomes type 1 and this is type 2. If you are a student, follow whatever is being taught to you. This video is for understanding the concept and I will continue with the Shields classification. DI is a hereditary mesodermal defect. It is got from parents and usually inherited as an autosomal dominant trait. You can pause and read more information given below. General features for all types of DI are that they affect both the primary as well as the permanent teeth. Teeth have different colors, varying from yellowish brown, brownish violet to gray. Some books call it blue gray. The whole point for us is that we look out for different shades of discoloration. The clinical appearance in terms of color varies from person to person. And in the same person, individual teeth may also be of different colors. When we look at the clinical presentation, the enamel is structurally and chemically normal. So it is technically normal. But the entire crown appears translucent or discolored because of the underlying abnormal dentine. Enamel fractures off easily from the incisal or occlusal surfaces. This early chipping off of the enamel from the dentine is reported by some researchers to be due to loss of scalloping of DEJ. This is the DEJ scalloping. It is believed to mechanically help interlock the dentine and the enamel together. This scalloping has been found to be absent in DI. Inside the dentine, the inorganic matter like calcium, phosphorus and few other minerals are in a higher amount. They are 70%. Organic matrix made of type 1 collagen, insoluble proteins, etc. is in a lesser amount and about 17%. It also consists of about 13% of water. In DI, the matrix formed is already defective. Chemical analysis of type 1 and type 2 DI shows that the inorganic matter is below normal. Water is 60% above normal. Due to this, the dentine density and hardness is low. Early loss of overlying enamel leads to rapid attrition of dentine making the occlusal surfaces flat. This is a photomicrograph of dentine in DI and normal dentine. In DI, the dentinal tubules are ill, that is irregular, larger in diameter and less in number. They can also be absent in certain areas of the teeth. Some larger areas of the matrix also remain uncalcified. In DI, the odontoblasts are not able to form a well-organized matrix. They also degenerate readily and become entrapped in the matrix and these are seen as cellular inclusions. Radiographic feature, pathognomonic of DI that is indicative of DI is partial or complete obliteration of the pulp chambers and the root canals. This is because though defective, the dentine is being continuously formed. Looking at the crown and the roots, 
Excessive constriction is seen at the CEJ making the crown bulbous, which gives a bell shape or a tulip flower like shape to the crown of the teeth. The roots are short and blunt. DI type 2 is also called as hereditary opalescent dentine. Opalescent means like opal, the gemstone. These are opal gemstones and they have different colors, especially as irregular patches or streaks, and that's how the teeth look. It is the most common type of dentinogenesis imperfecta. 1 in 8000 people are affected by this DI type 2. DI type 3 is called the brandywine type. It was first detected in the brandywine population. Brandywine population is the name of a group of people in USA. You can pause and read more. The affected patients have same clinical appearance as type 1 and type 2 along with certain other special features like shell teeth appearance on x-ray. It is called so because the pulp chambers and the root canals are enormous. The thin dentine and normal enamel are like a protective shell around the soft pulp like an eggshell or a snail shell. Here again the roots are very short. Deciduous teeth in DI type 3 show a lot of variations. They are seen having multiple pulp exposures. In this x-ray, it is seen with enamel aplasia. Enamel is not developed properly. The teeth can also be normal. Other normal features in all type of DI are the supporting alveolar bone, the periodontal ligaments and cementum. Treatment aims to prevent enamel loss which will lead to attrition and dentine loss. For anterior teeth, jacket crowns. For posterior teeth, cast metal crowns can be made. Care has to be taken during tooth preparation. In adults, all teeth may be extracted carefully by elevation and replaced with a full set of dentures. This should be started early to improve the facial appearance of young patients. Remember that these teeth are chipped off and broken or with root fractures and can't be used for chewing food effectively, so dentures are made. When placing partial dentures, stress on the adjacent teeth can cause root fractures. So we need to be careful about that. Dental caries and DI occurs as in normal teeth. And fillings can be done, but they are not permanent since the dentine is soft. Treatment of children with DI type 3 is placement of a full set of dental crowns over teeth. And genetic counseling is recommended for families of children with DI. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and share. Let me know in the comment box below if this video was helpful to you in understanding the concepts. If you want to watch more of my videos as and when I post them, be sure to subscribe. You can also click on any of these links given here to watch a video of your choice.